SHA with Macron H. Tomsp, the young titular governor of Khorasan, succeeded his father Ismail in 1524, when he was 10 years and 3 months old. The succession was evidently undisputed. Tomsp was the ward of the powerful Kazilbash Amir Ali Beg RML, titled Div Sultan Rumlu, who saw himself as the de facto ruler of the state. RML and Kopek Sultan Ustajalu, who had been Ismail's last wakl, established themselves as CO regents of the young Shah. The Kazilbsh, which still suffered under the legacy of the Battle of Kaldiran, was engulfed in internal rivalries. The first two years of Tom's best reign was consumed with Div Sultan's efforts to eliminate Ustajalu from power. This court intrigue led directly to tribal conflict. Beginning in 1526 periodic battles broke out, beginning in northwest Persia but soon involving all of Khorasan. In the absence of a charismatic, messianic rallying figure like the young Ismail, the tribal leaders reclaimed their traditional prerogative and threatened to return to the time of local warlords. For nearly ten years rival Kazilbsh factions fought each other. AF first, Kopek Sultan S. Ustajalu tribe suffered the heaviest and he himself was killed in a battle. Thus Div Sultan emerged victorious in the first palace struggle, but he fell victim to Chuha Sultan of the Takalu, who turned Tomsp against his first mentor. In 1527 Tazmasp demonstrated his desire by shooting an arrow at Div Sultan before the assembled court. The Takalu replaced the Rumlu as the dominant tribe. They in turn would be replaced by the Shamlu, whose Amir, Hussein Khan, became the chief advisor. This latest leader would only last until 1534, when he was deposed and executed. At the downfall of Hussein Khan Tazmsp asserted his rule. Rather than rely on another Turkmen tribe, he appointed a Persian Wakl. From 1553 for 40 years the Shah was able to avoid being ensnared in tribal treacheries. But the decade of civil war had exposed the empire to foreign danger and Tazmasp had to turn his attention to the repeated raids by the Uzbeks.